In the Susquehanna watershed, we face a lot of issues that range from agricultural and development. What we're really doing here is working with our students to prepare them to be the scientists of tomorrow, to address these challenges, getting their hands on in the field so that they can come up with the solutions of tomorrow. I'm Matt Wilson. I'm director of the Freshwater Research Institute at Susquehanna University. My role here is really to work with students, engage them in research involved in how we support conservation and restoration of near and in-stream habitats across the Susquehanna watershed. We don't do enough to think about how water quality affects other parts of an ecosystem and convey how important that is to people in a watershed. We all live upstream and we all live downstream. We need to think about that because where our drinking water comes from might be a river. So if we're able to protect our watershed, you don't need to do it for the fish. Do it for yourself. But if you want to do it for the fish, we really need to think about how clean gravels in the bottoms of streams are often where most of our native fishes breed. If they don't have clean gravel without fine sediment on top of it, we're gonna lose some of those fish. When we think about restoration or conservation, it's not about one piece of this puzzle. It's about what can we do here at Susquehanna to fill in individual pieces and help create a better image of what the entire challenge is and what we can do for solutions. Susquehanna is a small university. So in order to have a big impact, we need to be creative about how we address challenges across the watershed. What we think about first is how do we partner with local organizations and how do we get as many students as we can engaged? So we work with as many nonprofits, as many conservation districts, as many for-profit businesses as we can who care about our local watershed or their local community so that we can address these collaboratively and think about ways to plug students in so that the students gain that experience. They understand how the web of the community is connected and how that affects the food web of the streams that we're working in. The most critical part of what we do for the watershed is education. And when it comes to education, the fundamental part of that for me is that you can't love what you don't know. So what I wanna do with our students is instill that love in them. Because once they have that, they have the passion, they have the excitement, and they have the understanding from working with us to apply that passion in a positive way for outcomes in the future. One thing that I've noticed in doing this is that students often come to Susquehanna University with not an apathy, but a sadness, an anxiety of climate, right? So my advice to students about what they can do would be how can you act locally in a way that then scales globally. So don't think that you're too small. Don't think that you can't act because you can. And that small act can have a big effect if you think about it moving forward.